Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video today because I may be going crazy. For a long time, I've been seeing this lamp in all these country magazines and the price tag was a little bit ridiculous, like way out of my price range that I knew I could never have one. Why don't we discuss the price of this lamp first? All right, so in this particular book, the lamp that I'm about to show you is priced at $357.50. Let me just tell you, I did not buy it through this company. What I did instead is I went on eBay and if you go on there, there's a lot of stores that actually sell brand new stuff on there. So I did find this lamp and it was priced at, I believe $330, but there was a or best offer option. So what I did is I emailed the people and I said, hey, I have a question. How low would you go on this lamp? And they told me that they would do $292. So I accepted the offer. I did have to pay for tax because I'm in Pennsylvania. So I believe the total charge was $309 with tax. There wasn't any shipping. They did offer free shipping. So, let me bring this into the picture and show you the lamp that I'm talking about. All right, so here it is. This is called the Harrison lamp. It is by Urban's Country Tinware. I do have a lot of their stuff. So I just wanted to go over a few things that I like about this and a couple of things that I don't particularly care about. So let's start with the pros. I do like the style of this lamp. It is definitely heavy. It weighs probably at least, I don't know, I'd say about 10 pounds. So I mean, you can definitely like tap on it and it ain't going anywhere. I do like the candles on here. I think that they're really unique. I do like the lampshade too. Punch tin, I'm getting really into that right now. And this is kind of a sturdy shade. It itself probably weighs about two pounds. So overall, I like the style of the lamp. I like the look of it. Now let's get into the cons. Okay, so number one, the con is definitely the price. I feel like this should be priced a little bit lower than it is because there are some imperfections in the design. Um, one would be, I don't know if this was just mine or if this is how the shade is made, but um, right around this corner here, I actually have it pushed in the back. It has a little bit of a dent. Let me swing this around for you. Okay, so right here, there's a little bit of a dent in there and you wouldn't really see that unless you were looking at it close up. I'm not really liking these seams. There's a seam here and then there's also a seam on this side. Now I understand that they probably have to do that to get the tin big enough to make a lampshade because this is a 17 inch lampshade. Another thing that I really don't care for is this is a three-way switch. You can have either the candles on, you can have either just the light on or you can have them both on. And I really wish that the first option was to have everything on at the same time I just feel like I may wear the switch out a little bit too much because I'll have to click through three settings. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the first setting. It's just the candle. The second option is just the lamp part being on. Now I do have a 60 watt light bulb in here and it is pretty equivalent to this lamp over here. Um, I was a little bit worried that the shade was gonna block out too much of the light, but I haven't really had an issue with that. And then here is the option where both sections are on. I typically use it like this. There's probably different reasons why they made the settings in the order that they did, but I wish that this was the first setting because I don't want to wear out the switch. I don't even know how you would replace that. My last thing that I have a problem with on this lamp is I know when things are handmade, they can't be perfect. Um, I do see on these candles a little bit that where they're curling in, they actually are going out like an angle in. They're not exactly straight. I'm not sure if that's just how they have to be, like how if they would bend this too much, it would snap the metal. If you would get this from their website and see that it's almost $400, they could do a little bit more work on that just to kind of work out the kinks in it. I know I said I had just one more problem with this, but my last thing is these little sleeves that are on these candles, I'm not sure if they are 
plastic or if they're paper mache actually look at this i can just take this one off for you guys it appears to be some kind of a cardboard so i'm not really too comfortable with leaving this on like i once was also i just want to point out this lampshade that i have this is actually in it's called smoky black uh the one that you actually do get with the lamp is called the textured black one these arms on here are black but they have kind of like a bumpy texture to them well when i ordered this lamp the textured black shade was out of stock so i wanted to get this because i had been waiting a long time to order one so i compromised with the smoky black shade which is okay because i do have some other urban's country tinware lamps in here and they are in that finish so that kind of brought everything together so my final thoughts on the lamp is i am happy with it like i said it's a very sturdy lamp i do love the style of it also i did purchase another one of these because i did like it like i love this lamp it's very unique you don't really see this too often definitely not the candle things uh but i just like how it makes everything really cozy and in no way am i saying that you shouldn't buy anything from urban's country tinware i just wanted to give everybody like a heads up on some things that i noticed and what i thought about it just because i know when you see things in a magazine they're definitely perfect but when you get them um they typically are not so uh i do recommend this lamp i think it's nice they do have a couple different styles the base is a little bit longer they make a floor lamp also so i mean if you really want to spring i think it's maybe around like 600 dollars. go for it i bought this just because i wanted it i'm not showing off and in no way am i sponsored i paid for this with my own money so that's all i have to say about that subscribe to my channel if you like this video i'm gonna be doing some more review things because i kind of want to give people a heads up on what they're going to be buying. I know when you see something and it's expensive, you kind of shy away from it because you don't know what you're getting. So I will be the guinea pig to buy all this stuff and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.